we get to eat dinner in a cave. Grasshopper corn cakes. <laughs> to really get the flavor of it, you're really not gonna wanna do this. We're waiting for our Uber right now. We're gonna go to this place that's really close by. This is a restaurant that's inside a cave and it's only about two miles from the pyramids. So we figured we'd give it a try. Looks like they have some kind of exotic foods that have bugs in them. Yeah, we're hoping to try some crickets and some worms, but it seems like kind of an upscale place. So it's not just like eating these insects from the street. It looks like they're fancy plates. Sounds appetizing. <laughs> like we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Just a bunch of, whoa, cave. Ooh. Listo. Gracias. We get to eat dinner in a cave. This is amazing. <laughs> Welcome to our mesa. Alright, we just got to La Gruta. And look, we're in a cave. So they just handed us our menus. Big wooden plank <laughs> fits with the aesthetic. So I think we're gonna get this starter, which is fried corn cakes with guacamole and grasshoppers. That sounds awesome. And then we're looking into the escamole, which has ant larva or worms. Which one should we eat? Alright, so this is our spread. So we have the wild mushroom prickly pear soup. We have a Mexican meat platter here, which has some kind of taco, tamale it looks like, and other meats. And then we have some salsas over here with homemade tortilla chips. And then these are our tortillas, which are green because they're made with white corn and then cactus. So this is the most interesting dish that we have. These are grasshopper corn cakes. So they're over avocado on corn. All right, let's try the grasshopper corn cakes. Take a look at that. I don't imagine this is gonna be good, but let's give it a try. Grasshoppers don't have a lot of flavor. It's kind of the flavor is taken over by the by the guacamole and the lime in there. But you definitely get the texture. I think I have a leg stuck in my teeth. Now it's your turn to try. You ready? No. Oh. Uh, are they crispy? I don't do well with this kind of exotic food, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I can't. <laughs> I don't want to bite it. Are you getting the chills? I can't. Don't let them see you. What'd you say? I, I seriously can't do it. It's a mental thing. <laughs> Lindsay just had the grasshopper cakes. Look at these. <laughs> she couldn't do it. I do feel a leg in my teeth. <laughs> So we both just tried the grasshopper cakes, but I think I what you. I need to do is try <laughs> just a grasshopper to really get the flavor of it. Cool. You ready? <laughs> when you look up close, you're really not going to want to do this. Okay. Hmm. 
It's sour. It's sour with the texture of like a tortilla chip. That's my last one. I can't actually get it stuck in there. It uses like a toothpick. <laughs> I don't know where it went. This is a candle, guys. It's a symbolic offer for you and for she and today. The tradition in here is a hundred years before Christ. When they finish the ritual, it's a new man, a new spirit, a new energy. Now you put your candle and up there you put your bad memories and bad energy in here. When you finish your visit in it's the cave, you are a new people, a new spirit, a new energy. Okay? Awesome. Cool. Thank you. So now let's place this candle at the edge of the cave and then we're going to come out as new people. <sighs> Lindsay, find a place to put our candle. I'm a whole new woman. <laughs> All the bad energy is lifted. My sins are gone. I'm right. Okay, so we just finished our meal at La Gruta, and this is pretty much the end of our day today. And that was definitely the craziest thing I've ever eaten but we want to know what's the craziest thing you guys have ever tried. So leave a comment below and let us know. And we will see you in the next video. So this is a grasshopper. <laughs> she was a ballerina. <laughs> oh, I just broke her leg. <laughs> <laughs> there are more bugs on our table than there are on the ground. These are all the gods. Not sure how to say that one. This one is. Huta Huta Holtel. He looks like a little you could do it all the time. Oh, this totally looks like a hair cuttle. The god of wind, air, and the night. This one has like no face. Are you cold? Yeah. Who's colder? Me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Hit subscribe to follow the adventure because I'm traveling all over the world. And I'm sharing the whole thing with you.